Sometimes you forget there are people working when the game ends. Sometimes that's their most important moment of the day when the game ends. The sideline reporter's got to track down the star player, the coach. And I was wondering about that last night. I said to Paulie, I don't know who the sideline reporter was. I assume it's Holly Rowe. Brent Musburger was calling it. Uh, Fran Fraschilla was there. And I thought, where is Holly during this mosh pit here? <laughs> the ESPN reporter, uh, Holly Rowe, who was there last night. First of all, are you okay? I'm fine. It, you know, it's so crazy, but it's sort of fun. I, that probably is not the right thing to say, but it's kind of fun when those chaotic, spontaneous moments happen. So, no, I'm great. Thank you. Have you ever been concerned for your well-being after a game ends and the fans storm the court? Um, I really haven't. I, You know, it's just these spontaneous moments, and you're just kind of dealing with everything. And so I've never felt like scared for my safety. Now, crazy things have happened. I'm glad that cell phone cameras weren't around when I first started because I've wielded the mic and, like, swatted kids away with the mic before. So luckily that was never caught on camera. But, you know, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. You're just fighting for your life sometimes and fighting for your interview and, you know, like you said, trying to do your job in very unusual circumstances. How physical was it last night? It was pretty physical. Um, the, the kids were nice, but I did just watch the replay of what happened at the scorer's table with Bill Self, and that was scary. Yep. Um, that actually happened to me last year as I went to the scorer's table thinking, well, if I get in the handshake line, surely I will be safe there. But because the students are storming from the opposite side of the court, that's where all the kind of pressure and everything ends up is right there at the scorer's table. So last year... A, a very nice man kind of gestured to me like, hey, I'll pull you out. And he pulled me out of the scrum. And as I got up on the table, so did some of the other players. I was like, oh, well, here they are. So we did our interview on the table last year, and that seems to be a pretty safe place to be. Um, this year, I had a problem where my RF audio mic equipment didn't get shipped. So I was on a hard cable, and that was really scary because you don't have any freedom. You're, you know, roaming around on court, and, you know, you, you've yeah. done sideline and, and RF stuff before. That's really hard to be tethered to something trying to navigate that crowd. So we did the best we could, but I thought it was scary for um, Coach Self. It, it got a little wild down there. Should we allow fans to storm the court? Yes. I, I love it. There's a part of me that loves the spontaneous joy of eruption that happens. I think they can do it in a more controlled way. I've been at some courts where they put up kind of a security corridor, so the coach and the team can get off the floor safety safely. There's a way you can do it, you know, a little more safely. But I, I, I want the kids to have fun. It's exciting when people rush the court or rush the field. It's a beautiful moment. I like it. I just worry about the other team. And that, and that's where, you know, Bill Self took the high road and said, look, we could have stopped it by winning. But, you know, that what if a Kansas player does something to this fan who gets in his face? Then he yeah, could get suspended. Yeah, that's the next step. That's the next step. I remember I was working a game, Duke at Florida State, when J.J. Reddick was playing for Duke and trying to break the scoring record for them. And um, it looked like fans were going to rush the court, and there was still, I want to say, maybe even 20 seconds or something like that left on the clock. And Mike Krzyzewski just took his players, and they walked off the floor and just ended the game. Um, and, and he was smart. You know, I thought the, the bad part of last night is Bill Self was still trying to be a good sport in all of it and go through the handshake line. In retrospect, they could have just taken their kids and walked straight off the court up the tunnel. You know, but that's not what you want either. That's not sportsmanship, but, you know, that probably would have been the safer bet. She's Holly Rowe, the ESPN reporter, was at the uh, Kansas State Kansas game joining us, Dan Patrick Show. And then you got March Madness coming up with all these smaller tournaments, these smaller schools. It's their opportunity to get on TV. So, you know, I, I, I just hope that they look at this, these schools do, or these conferences, and say, Yes, come on the floor. Your chance to be on TV. Let's just make sure we get that opposing coach and his players off the floor first. And if you do that, fine. Go have fun. Yeah, I agree. There has to be a plan in place that is better because it's just going to take one kid punching somebody for this whole thing to blow up. Yep. You know, you know, when Marcus Smart went into the crowd last year, we were just all so appalled. It's amazing this kind of stuff doesn't happen more frequently. But at the same time, this is a game. It's basketball. It's supposed to be fun. I don't want to be the fun police. These kids have such a great <laughs> time. And last night, you know, the Kansas State kids, I had to ask a few, hey, wait, 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 push back. We're doing the interview now. You know, they were very nice and respectful. I didn't have to swing the mic and hit anybody last night. They were pretty nice. <laughs> do you have to, me anyway. Do you actually grab the coach sometimes? Oh, yeah. It gets physical. I've grabbed the coach. It's, last week, we had a court storming at West Virginia. 
and Juwan Staten hit the game-winning play, and I'm, I'm trying to find an interview, trying to find an interview, and he runs by me, and I literally close light him. I grabbed the back of his jersey and yanked him, and he turned around like, who the heck are you? And, and then he saw it was me, and he started laughing. So we had a really good, memorable interview last week because we also had a court storming last week that um, but I thought that one was pretty good. West Virginia was pretty good. Well, but you got to understand, Kansas probably nerves are a little frayed there. They lose in dramatic fashion to West Virginia. Fans storm the court. They lose to Kansas State. Fans storm the court. So Bill Self is probably saying, you know, granted, we're bringing this on, but man, this, this is like a span of six or seven days we've had to deal with this. Yeah, I'm sure they're super annoyed. I'm sure their fans are saying, you know, act like you've been there before. But it is a super, it's the ultimate compliment to Kansas that their fans think it's such a big deal to beat them. You know, it, it, it is a huge compliment. I know it's annoying for them, and I've had a lot of KU fans tweeting me this morning, like, can you believe that classless, you know, whatever. But it, it, it's a compliment. They think it's a big deal to beat Kansas, and they should. Kansas is amazing. Which coach is the toughest to corral to get that post-game interview? Urban Meyer, because he's bigger and stronger than me, and he can get focused. And um, after the Sugar Bowl this year when they beat Alabama, you know, he was hugging his wife and his family, and you're like, well, I don't want to go in there and break up the huddle with the children and the wife, Shelly. And so um, he can be interesting because he, he gets something on his mind and he goes. So I've had to, you know, wrestle with Urban a little bit in, in a good way. You know, they're all such good sports about it, so we make it work. But they know at the end of the game, if you win, then they're going to stop? Is that how it's uh, – it pre- Oh, yeah, they know. And they've got they've got security guys there. Sometimes the security guys are the biggest challenge. I had to – interview Art Bryles after their big win over TCU this year in football and his his security guys it's like his strength training staff and they're gigantic human beings <laughs> and I was like climbing up the back of one of the guys and he turned around and was going to swap me away like a fly and I'm like I have to get in there and you know so it's sometimes it's the people protecting the coach that you have the hardest time with because they may not understand it the coach typically knows you're going to do an interview that's kind of a set thing combat pay Holly combat pay well, I'm just excited to be on your show. I listen to you guys all the time. I'm a huge fan. And if I knew that if I just jumped on a table to get on your show, <laughs> I, I would have done it years ago. I would have been a table worker many years ago. Oh, great to hear from you. I'm glad you're doing well. Keep fighting the good fight. Thanks for having me. Hi to the Danettes. I just love you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Holly Rowe, ESPN reporter.